Hi, I'm Ashley, the app scientist. Congratulations, you grew a crystal. Now what? In this next episode of Apex, the more you know, I'll show you how to mount and center your crystal so that you are teed up to start collecting data. First, you want to pick a crystal that has well-defined edges and looks single. So you don't want one that looks like two crystals growing out from each other. Unless that's all you have, then we'll talk about that in another episode. Now consider the size of your beam. Is it 300, 100, 80 microns? You want your crystal to be smaller than your beam so that it can be fully covered by it. No little edges sticking out. Mount that crystal now onto your goniometer head and open the center crystal plugin. Take your goniometer key and move your crystal up and down and left and right until it's in the center of those crosshairs. Now move it 90 degrees and you'll be able to see the other axis. So now center this one as well. Continue to change your crystal orientation until you have that crystal in the center of the crosshairs every time you turn. Now let's check the size of the crystal. Use the vector tool to measure your crystal dimensions. Enter the crystal size into the Describe Sample plugin. Here, you can also add in information about your sample, what elements are in it, what color is your crystal, what shape is your crystal. Now you're ready to start your data collection. If you're ready to experience the benefits of Apex for yourself, you can go to brookersupport.com to upgrade. New user, you can request a demo license and see how Apex can transform your lab's workflow. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Apex, The More You Know. I'm Ashley, the app scientist, and together we practiced mounting and centering your beautiful crystals. Tune in next time for more exciting crystallography. Until then, happy refining. Thank you.